MS woman. MS Nigerians will again head to the polls in 2019 to choose their leaders. Their votes will determine their fate for the next four years. Most prepared, however, are the politicians who need the votes of the electorates to determine their popularity or otherwise. Politicians must fix their house before stepping out to the public. The ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, is talking about the steps it's taking to ensure a successful primary elections. APC! Among them is the resolve to ensure fairness and justice. A national caucus meeting of the parties held at the presidential villa in Abuja. The meeting, which has President Muhammadu Buhari and other party stalwarts in attendance, resolves to ratify the resolutions taken at its next meeting scheduled for 30th August 2018. We basically discuss how to ensure full compliance with the, with the annex guideline and also ensure that uh, we observe all the principles of eternal democracy, participation, inclusion, fairness and justice. And, um, I think those are the issues basically. There are two basic documents that we need to respect. The Electoral Act and the Constitution of the APC. And all that we need to do are sufficiently provided for uh, in, the, in the Constitution. In the, in, uh, by, by, by Thursday, we will go to NEC where the formal decisions will be ratified and once they are ratified they will be made public so it will be any they are not secret to be kept because every member of the party and indeed every Nigerian is entitled to know you know how we are going about the SSI but I think everybody has confidence that we will do a very credible primaries to ensure that uh, those who fly the flag of the party has the mandate of the uh, various uh, constituents. Members of the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, arriving for a crucial National Executive Committee meeting at the party secretariat in Abuja. Top on the priority list of the meeting is to take a position on the method for its primaries to select candidates for the 2019 general elections. While the party chairman, Adam Zoshomole, has in the past thrown his support behind direct primaries, some governors appear to be in favor of indirect primaries. For the presidential election, we all agree that we will adopt a direct uh, primaries for the presidential election. But the, also a resolution recommendation was made by the National Working Committee, which was accepted, that all other uh, states should adopt the, the indirect mode of election. But, but there may be circumstances where it may be difficult also in some of the states looking at their peculiarities. But if there are those difficulties, the states will now apply following the process in their stakeholders, through their stakeholders, outlining the reasons, and then sign and adopted by a simple majority of the party, uh, of the party in state their state, executive. and the state executive, and then will send to the national executive for approval. But President Mohamed Buhari wants the primaries to be free and fair, regardless of the procedure adopted. I urge all and sundry to ensure that we play the game according to the rules. Let us come out with free, fair, and credible primaries, which will be broadcaster to free, fair, and credible general elections next year. Let us shine the light through our primaries, and the rest of the country will find the way. It is more than a month after some legislators in the National Assembly defected from the ruling APC to other political parties. But the AP chairman consistently maintains that the party still has what it takes to retain its past victories at the polls. The next meeting enters into a closed-door session for members to discuss matters arising. The closed-door session over, 
The party adopts a method for its primaries. The party wish to make the following clarification on NEC resolution on the mode of primary election. One, the party election into effective offices shall be direct primaries. NEC resolve to adopt direct primaries for the nomination of presidential candidates and all other primaries. Three, the party constitution do provide for indirect primaries. However, the use of indirect primary is conditional and depend on the logistic challenges on the need of a given state and make it unable to use direct primaries. Four, the state executive committee shall be in consultation with aspirants and other critical stakeholders of the party in a given state forward for the consideration of approval by the National Working Committee if indirect primary is to be adopted. Five, the adopted mode shall now be applied to all categories of the party primaries election. Six, the request for indirect primaries must be signed by majority of the state executive committee and critical stakeholders in attendance at the meeting where such resolution is reached. Direct primaries will, among others, ensure fairness, create level playing ground for contestants, eliminate corrupt tendency, usually associated with delegate system, and ultimately ensure full participation of members at all levels. In a statement signed by the Acting National Publicity Secretary, Mr. Yakini Nabina, the APC's neck resolutions of the mode of primary elections include that primary elections into elective offices shall be by direct primaries. Direct primaries for the nomination of the presidential candidate in all other primaries. That the party constitution, though provides for indirect election and consensus, however, the use of indirect primaries is conditional and dependent on logistic impediments. That the State Executive Committee shall, in consultation with aspirants and other stakeholders of the party, forward for the consideration and approval by the National Working Committee if direct primaries is to be adopted. That the adopted mode shall now be applied to all categories of the party's primary elections. That the request for indirect primaries must be signed by majority of the State Executive Committee and critical stakeholders in attendance. That direct primaries will, among others, ensure fairness, create a level playing ground for contestants. In Adamawa chapter of the APC, the party adopts the indirect primaries for the election of its candidates for the governorship, National Assembly and State House of Assembly primaries for the 2019 elections while retaining the direct primary for the presidential election. Let me give you certain assurances, in spite of all the noise that is going on around our party at the national level. The first news I have for you is that the APC as a party is strong, is well, and is marching with it. The APC as a party has grown in its diversity. It has grown in its understanding and respect for the norms of democracy. And that is why we've been given the responsibility as a state executive committee to determine the processes of the nomination of our members. And I think it's a very good development that people will be allowed to exercise their right as conferred by the Constitution to determine what process best suits them in the selection of those that would represent them in future elections. A motion is moved and adopted. The Adama State Chapter of the APC in the coming primary elections in this state 
adopt the indirect primaries. I hereby move that the members here for and on behalf of the APC chapter of Adamawa State adopt the indirect primaries among the other two options. I so move.